Hello Aries, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Okay. I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay, Aries, I thought I would do a coffee cup reading for you guys. So I have your cup right here, but while I drink the coffee, I see things in pictures form in the coffee and also on the edges of the cup. And I write that down so okay. There's something here about um, being up late at night, um, not being able to fall asleep, or just like being alone in the silence of the night or really early in the morning when everything is silent and everything is quiet. You may see something that stands out to you in the sky and you could not be sure what that is. Is this a planet? Is this a flash of light? Is this an alien life form? Is this a shooting star? Or, you know, it could even just be like a bird far away. Um, if it's like early morning, it's like light out or something. But there's something about being completely alone. And there's you and there's something up in the sky. And what is that? You know, which is um, kind of this message that is talking about bringing. There's something here that you want to bring or you're going to. You're meant to bring into this reality that is not known. In this reality there is something here you're and this could be an idea that there are other people that do this but you don't have to reinvent something but the way that you do it is different there is something different that you bring to the table um because nobody can do something the way that you're going to do it you know it's like if you give everybody a piece of paper and have them draw a heart everyone's gonna do their own different version of a heart you know, and people coming to buy artwork, you know, the, you're in, some people are inspired by that. Some people are inspired by this. There isn't necessarily a right or wrong. So there is something here that you're meant to do that is going to be brought to light during this time. And I saw a fox looking over a, a woman with like a long train on her dress. This could be a divine feminine person. This could be you, even if you're male. Um, or this could uh, represent like a wedding or something here. There is something here about someone's being sneaky out of fear. They're not trying to be malicious, but maybe you don't know their full intentions. And this is because of a fear that they have. There could be something here that's coming together, but there was a person and you get this energy of them watching. And they're watching, not because they cannot be trusted necessarily, but because they are afraid of what this situation may come to be. I would be careful of anyone that is trying to convince you to spend your money on something. Oh yeah, I did this. Let's do this. Why don't we go do this? Why don't we go do this? And there was like, you don't want to spend your money on that, but somebody else is trying to convince you to spend your money on something here. Um, I would be wary of that kind of a person just in general here. There's something here where you're like, yeah, I don't know that this is right. And um, so there you go. Okay. I put this little, um, my mind's going blank, selenite cube on top, which looks like a sugar cube, right? <laughs> but it's not. Okay, let's see a coffee cup, right? Wow. Wow, that looks freaking beautiful. There's something here that can flip in a whole new way. Because you have this like, like the half, okay? Which is very interesting because when you have a full moon, what that really means is half of the moon is shining uh, brightly with the sun's light onto it, but the other half of the moon is completely dark. And so you really have like half. Well, it's not exactly right. It depends on science, blah, blah, blah. But you know what I mean? Like this is pretty much half. And so there's something here 
about seeing something, the sky, seeing something in the middle of the night when you're alone here. And you're meant to bring this to Earth. And that's very interesting because we have this full moon is in Capricorn. And this is talking about grounding something thing okay and there's something here where you're gonna see the dark side of people come out and you're gonna see the true reason why is there a dark side because of fear with like this fox person they're trying to be very clever and they're not really being honest right um but there is a reason they're just doing that to protect themselves and they're not actually trying to harm anyone in doing this or there is a person here who wants to manipulate you so that's going to all come to light here. And it's three. Look, one, two, three little mountains that you have here. But it's like very up and then very down. So this is very fast paced. You could have very fast paced emotions around this full moon, which is tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but there's something here where you could feel a little bit unstable. Because look, this is like a, a shape like this. Like, uh, you know, if you're standing on something like that, you're going to teeter back and forth. So there could be a little bit of emotions that are a little bit um, heightened during this time. I wouldn't pay too close attention to this. You have the elephant here. There's a baby elephant right there. So that's like the trunk of the elephant right there. That's the eye. And there's the part of the ear. So there is something here that you're going to learn. This, you could learn something about your ancestors. You could learn something about, you know, your um, where you come from. The, uh, elephants represent your family line. And there could be things that in your family you have learned that there are things that people in your family like literally walked over mountains that they walked over, like um, difficulties that they have gone on through in life. Maybe like all the women in your family went through this and they had to do this because of this or something like that. It doesn't necessarily have to be women. It can be men. It can be anything. I'm just using that as an example. And you're going to see um, there's going to be a way that you're going to be able to bring to life old traditions or make a new one. Yeah. Yeah. Because, oh, now I see like a ram that is like looking right, right at me here. Wow, that looks freaking wild. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just like the, the head is like right here where my finger is covering and the eyes. It's just like staring. Whoa. <laughs> There is something here that you see. There's something here that you're the one to break something. This could be a generational curse. You're the one that's supposed to. This is giving me energy of Harry Potter energy. When Harry Potter. Okay. I don't know if you've seen the movies. Come on. They're out there. But he, he, okay, there was a point where they go back in time and they're supposed to be watching what already happened. Somebody saves Harry Potter and Hermione is like, hey, he's like, yeah, my dad, he does the Patronum and he saves me. He saw him from across the lake. He thought it was his dad. And Hermione's like, your dad's not coming and you're dying. You know, they go back in time and they have to make things happen. So that people live, you know, this animal lives. So Hermione's like, that wasn't your dad. It was you. And so, you know, you see other people and we put them up on this pedestal here. But really, I think what you're going to come to find is you. You are the one that deserves to be up on this pedestal. And this is not putting other people below you, but this is just believing in yourself and knowing that there's amazing things that you're meant to do in this life. And I don't think you get the credit for all the amazing things that you have done, all the things that you have faced on your own, because I see a face here, but the eye is hidden. There's nose and there's a mouth and there's a strong face here. But there is, the eyes are not there. And there is a dinosaur here. So there could be a person here in your family where there was a lot of tragedy that happened to them. And maybe they were, you know, left alone. 
Um, they were a only sibling. Everyone in their family died except for them. They went through some kind of trauma here, you know, and this is this person because of this, they have a very, they could have been in a war or something. So they have a very like serious demeanor about something, but this could be about uncovering why and there's something here that you're going to do that I feel like you're going to come to find out that people are actually very, very proud of you. Um, you could be moving where it is that you're going to live and you're not going to tell other people what you're doing because I see like a Trojan horse here. So there is like a situation here where you may be leaving a situation. You may be leaving where you live. You may be leaving where you work. There could be something here where you're not going to be around that environment anymore, those these particular people anymore, but you don't want to tell other people. There is a way that you're going to do it in a kind of sneaky way, but this is just because you want to protect um, your own wants and the journey that you have come across here because it's like there is something here you have beaver energy here and this beavers build a strong sturdy home and sturdy foundation but if that's not your dream that's not your dream you can't stay there you know so there's something about that here that may Okay, now I'm seeing like dark clouds and like a thunderstorm. So there may be dark clouds and a thunderstorm out of nowhere. After that situation, either you and a person you're already with, in love with, are going to have a moment where you get a lot closer or you're going to meet someone and this person is going to be very significant in your life. It's going to be romance. A way that it is romance. And a way that this is, you know, it's very romantic because I'm seeing you and this person holding hands and like looking at each other. So you're having a romantic moment here. And this is something where there's a lot of nature going on around you. There's breeze. There's like trees growing in the leaves. This is a very magical scene here for you and this person to be together. This could, You could be meeting a person that you're going to marry. Wow. Wow. Let's see with your plate. Again. What the heck? Is there something here that you wished for during the eclipse? Because doesn't this look like a moon and then a sun here? And this is kind of like little rays. And this is like an old man's face. Side profile. Wow. Something the there's something here that you had an idea about maybe during the eclipse because this is showing me what I was talking about. This person, okay, sorry. <laughs> there's a person here and they're looking to the sky. The star that was here is now a shooting star. There's something here that's gonna take off that you have been wanting to take off for a long, long time. You could be uh in a like line or you connect your soul connects. So like an ancient lineage of native people. And you're figuring this out. This could be a past life that you have had where karma is being uh, released forward to you because of genuine things that you did for people here. It could be three things. Um, it doesn't have to be, but there's, I think that there's like three people, this could be divine feminines, where you help them leave a situation or get over a person. Kind of, it's like showing me Dua Lipa when she has that video and it's like, I have new rules. What's that song? And I don't know, but in the song, in the music video, it's like, you know, in the beginning, she's getting over someone and she's just like, kind of like barely there and they're like picking her up and they're like putting on her makeup and they're like, yeah, we're going to have fun. We're going to have a girl time. It's going to be great. And she's like, yeah, you know, um, but then at the end of the video, she is, she is better, you know, and then she does that for somebody else. She helps them. So there's something here where you're protecting divine feminine energy. You could be very misconstrued. People think of you as the kind of person who, 
you know, does this, does that. And, you know, but actually, like, you really help people. But people could confuse you or, like, you all, you never get credit for these things that you do, which it's not like you're trying to get credit. But this is saying, like, credit is going to be, is going to come to you. And I don't think it's going to come from those people or those situations acknowledging it. It's going to come from the, something taking off. For you, and this is a wish that you made in your heart. For some of you, this is this love, this is romance with this person. Okay. You have new beginnings. And what a beautiful... And look at how it's like dawn. Or like... Right? Dawn. But then also you see the stars and just quiet with nature. That's like what I was seeing here. There's some kind of a wish here that you made in your soul and it's going to come true. You have openness here. Wow. And look at the full moon. I'm telling you, there's something here about this full moon that matters. Openness, I'm also getting with this openness here, there may be a person that's coming into your life that is a zodiac sign that you haven't typically gotten along with. And there's something about openness because remember that not everybody is 100% their zodiac sign, like their sun sign, right? So I feel like there's going to be a person, this could be this love interest, that's going to definitely um, surprise you here. And this person here, they could be a zodiac sign where you're always like, oh yeah, never again, never this sign, you know. Um, you have freedom here. Yeah. Th there is some kind of a beautiful freedom that's coming in for you. Success. Come on, how beautiful is that? Um, okay, now I want to do tea leaves here, and then I'm going to do a little bit of tarot. Let's, let's, bowl plenty of material things. You have the wreath. Sorrow over a loss. Here's the thing. This feels like there is a person who maybe regrets some things in life and they are not like they're going through a breakup and they're having a difficult time. It could be one of these things. This could be somebody in your family and you go out of your way to cheer this person up and then you hear about their history that you didn't know about their history. Or this is like the Dua Lipa where, you know, this person is in sorrow, but you help them. There's something here about that. And because of that, you're getting this plenty of material things. You're getting this success. You're getting this freedom. Okay. So there's something here that you're doing. And you're really helping other people when you do this. And the universe is like thanking you for what it is that you're doing. A change for the better with this butterfly. Yeah, that's the thing is you have figured out uh, how to make a change for the better and other people, they're still trying to figure that out. I Psychic ability, trust in your intuition here. Wow. Yeah, there's something here about a person that they're like grumpy, they're like stoic, they're like angry, but you know there's more to the story. There's something here where you can tell. And then there's something here where somebody could be very nice, they're very this, they're very that, they're very fun, you know. That was the energy with someone trying to get you to spend your money. And yeah, maybe they're going to spend their money as well, you know, they're not asking you to pay for them. But there's something here about just not trusting this. Um, so listen to your own voice, because there's something here that you see. That's what I was seeing. You see something in the sky. Other people don't see this. You see it. And that comes with the openness. You know, that comes with being your own freedom here. And you're going to make a change for the better here that other people, no, they don't understand it. Uh, but here's the thing. They don't, they don't really need to. This new person that you meet, you could feel like you have a psychic connection with this person. You just see them and you just know there's something here that you just kind of can't explain here. You can meet them through work because you have the Eight of Pentacles here. But there is something here that you're, you know, you're very driven towards making here. And you're going to be very successful in this. 
you have the queen of pentacles here and this could be something very suddenly that you get this opportunity to embark on something new here that's why it's like okay maybe i'm not going to tell everybody because all of a sudden you have this way to go this could be something where you're moving and this was the trojan horse thing you're going to move and you're not going to tell everybody or there's something here where you're going to take this new leap of faith here and this could be a change in career or something here but you're not going to let and not everybody needs to know this because some people they're going to be very you know judgmental because you know maybe it's people want the best for you and they haven't had the best past in their life right so let's see you know you have the seven of pentacles here you have the queen of wands and then you have the knight of pentacles here uh there's something about once you choose to walk away from something and to be bold and to move forward it's like you only just need to take the steps walk the steps and things are going to start to happen for you here this is when a person is going to come towards you here but there could be something where energetically you're still connected you're still thinking about another person and that's the thing is when you're trying to get over something when you help other people get over something it's like you're kind of like doing it yourself simultaneously a change for the better yeah and this is gonna allow for a lot of freedom for you in your life where things have been very difficult for a long long time what the heck the tower let's see about this tower guys you have the four of cups and then you have the world so you could be not expecting this change and that's the thing it's like you know you're over here you're doing your thing and this is like the dua lipa video right she's kind of disappointed in a situation here but then just going through the motions helping somebody else she doesn't even realize that she's transformed herself and there is a sudden opportunity to be somewhere else in the world to do something else in the world for your day-to-day -day world to change that's what this is saying and so that's what's gonna happen here yeah you have some decisions to make about who you're going to collaborate with and this is gonna be immensely successful here and there's people that maybe you're leaving behind and so this is why you're not exactly telling them this because people are trying to convince you to spend your money somewhere else. Dude, they may want you to do something that it's like it benefits you, but it also very much so benefits them. But you going and doing this would just benefit you. But it's like, oh, yeah, you're only responsible for yourself. There is somebody here that's trying to manipulate you with some kind of charity or something here or money situation or circumstance um no or maybe they're trying to convince you that you owe them somehow you know because they're not building themselves up and th that's not your problem you know you're built you are building yourself up look at this and you have the sun and now you have the ace of cups ace of pentacles here wow yeah this is success here that's coming in for you major success from something that you're doing that's just for you this is reminding me of sing if you've ever seen the cartoon sing with the little koala bear matthew mcconaughey right i think scarlett johansson is in it and she's the little porcupine girl i think she's a porcupine or she's a hedgehog i think she's a porcupine she's a little spiky creature so cute and she auditions with her boyfriend okay they audition and she gets in and he does not and he's like oh this is so stupid you know he's making fun of it and then she's like oh, okay i gotta go to rehearsal and he's like you're gonna do it and she's like yeah i got in why wouldn't it's like auditioning for american idol but you know your boyfriend doesn't get it so he doesn't want you to do it wait what no that's not right you should be happy for the other person and while you could maybe be disappointed for yourself yeah that's a natural thing but that shouldn't take away from your happiness for this other person and definitely not wanting them to not do it you know so you know she ends up doing it and being very successful here so there's something here 
where, um, and this could be a person that's just sad and they don't want to be alone, you know, and that's not necessarily your responsibility. How crazy is this? Ugh, I'm trying to pick this up so you can see it. This and this is what's looking down at me. What? black cat and a black jaguar and that's the thing is you know some people are cats and they're house cats and they want to stay home and they want to be in this home environment you know this cat looks like it has a collar on here you know and this is a wild creature in the jungle you're meant for great success and some people you know they want to be in smaller ponds and that is their happiness that is their success but I feel like you're meant for so much more. Don't let somebody else hold you back here. I don't feel like you are. There is a beautiful love that's taking off here as well. I feel like you've been disappointed and you've been hoping and praying for some kind of change in love for quite some time um, because you've had a lot of toxicity. You've had a lot of situations where you feel confined um, and it's not getting you anywhere. Uh, but with the success, there is a person that actually sees you. Look at this empress here. Yeah, there is a very nurturing person that you are attracting. This is a person that is very in touch with their emotions. They have a lot of compassion. This is a person that is okay with you being in the spotlight. And this is a person here. Look at the wreath and you have the wreath. So there is something here that you have gotten over and because you helped other people get over things as well, you're getting this success, you're getting this blessings, you're standing out. That's why the wreath is here. There's something really amazing here and don't let people hold you back on your journey because these are chains and this is freedom and freedom. So that's what this is really talking about here. You know, you've been in a situation for a long time where, you know, you're the only one kind of uh, putting in the work here and everybody is celebrating. And that's not really right. You know, you shouldn't have to hold yourself back. So the Ace of Swords is, is coming forth to say that there is somebody here that's going to come forward. And there's someone here that they compliment you. <laughs> they see the amazing things that you do this person is somebody who would treat you like absolute gold that thinks you're amazing this is somebody that tells you this and their actions and their words actually match so this is a person who they have very balanced communication skills and i feel like that's something that you're not used to you're used to people who are all over the place you know, and their actions say one thing and their words say another. And this is a time for change with judgment here. This, this is time for stability. And this is the time for, yeah, look at this. You have the Ten of Wands here and then you have the Ten of Cups. So yeah, lo this love is coming in as well. And this is, this is a, there's a person you're destined to be with here that's coming in. Um, this could be a, a fixed sign a leo a taurus uh aquarius or a scorpio it doesn't have to be that's really what you got here could really be a leo you have the sun I am optimistic. I appreciate all that I have. There is just a very nurturing person here. It's like, where did I see this? Um, if a plant isn't growing, you know, we change the, the soil or we water it or you know what I'm saying? Like, we give it more sunlight. There's something here where um, a lot of people blamed you in your past for their shortcomings, they blamed you. And this person not only does not do that, but this person
this person is someone who they do kind things for no reason at all. They're a person that you can laugh with and it just comes easy and naturally. You can share your soul with this person. This person sees how you glow, how you light up a room. This person has a lot of compassion for you where you have not received that in your life yet. There's something here because this wreath is made of flowers and look at all the flowers and this sun. You know, this person like nourishes where you have had loss. It's like where your past situations that you have been involved in, there was uh, emptiness in this area. This person is the opposite of that. They are filling of that. This person, it's very clear what this person wants, what their intentions are from day one. Your dreams and their dreams line up. This is a person who's very much so, let's make this happen. And you can build a life with this person. This is something that you see right away. And this is something that naturally progresses in a very quick and very beautiful way. I feel like not too long after you're with this person, they're going to have a gift for you. A gift that holds sentimental meaning. And I feel like this is going to, you know, put down a wall that you have had up for a long, long time. It's very beautiful. Okay. So Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope this resonated with you. And if you want to like and subscribe, that would be awesome.